Okay, now let's create a shipping promotion. So from the dashboard, let's go over to store and promotions and let's add a promotion. This one is going to be called complimentary shipping on 12 plus bottles. Start date is today's date by default and you can add an end date if you want to. If you don't add an end date, it will last indefinitely. Down here you have a decision to make on type, product discount or shipping discount. For this, we are going to be doing a shipping discount. Scrolling down to the customers section, available to all customers, specific clubs or specific customer tags. So all customers is obviously all customers regardless of who they are. If we do specific clubs, then you have the choice of choosing which club or clubs you want to use along with the frequencies. Also, we have specific tags. So if you have specific customer tags that you would like to be offering up the free shipping, then you could perhaps put in your big buyers and then your big buyers would be the ones to receive this. But in this case, I am actually going to just do all customers Scrolling down further, we get into the discount section. We have a few types here. One is free shipping, which is exactly that, free shipping. And that's ultimately what we will be using on this one for our example. We could also do a percentage off. So if we do that, then you could say perhaps 25% off, you know, ground shipping, something like that. You could do a dollar off, or you could do flat rate shipping. Maybe it's $10 ground shipping for a limited amount of time, something like that. But we're gonna be doing free shipping. And then scrolling down here, you decide, well, are we offering free shipping on all shipping services or just specific shipping services? Well, I don't necessarily wanna give free shipping to my two day folks or my overnight folks. So I'm gonna say specific shipping services and then I'm going to choose West Coast UPS Ground. So those folks are going to be getting free shipping. We have an action message down here and this is going to show up as an incentive on the front end. So we're going to say order 12 and receive complimentary shipping. All right, and then we get down to requirements. So either no requirements at all, basically everybody is going to get this no matter what, or you can base it on the order's subtotal, or you can base it on quantity. And so that's going to be the case here, and the minimum is going to be 12 bottles. Scrolling down further, maybe you want only specific products to qualify. If that's the case, go ahead and click that check mark and then you can define specific collections. So in this case, I have a few collections in here. Maybe it's just my summer 2022 collection that qualifies for the free shipping on 12 or more or specific departments or specific products, in which case, again, you choose that and then you can look for specific products. Maybe it's just the Chardonnay that's going to receive the free shipping on 12 or more bottles. In this case, I want it to apply to everyone. So I don't care what they order, as long as it's 12 bottles or more, they will receive the complimentary shipping. As we scroll up here to the right, we have the discount stacking section. So if a customer qualifies for more than one promotion and or more than one coupon, only one is going to apply by default. And that one is going to be the one that gives them the highest discount. But you may have a situation where you would like multiple promotions and or coupons to apply to single orders. And in that case, you would want to use the promotion set. Now, if you don't know how to create a promotion set, I'd encourage you to take a look at the promotion set video that is also in this article. So after you've created your promotion set, you can come here and then search for it and then it will apply. And then you will be able to stack your discounts if you would like. And then finally down here, we have limit usage. 
no limit means that anyone can come in here at any point and use this promotion over and over again until the end date if there is one. Maybe it is just one per customer. If that's the case, you choose per customer and you can put a one there or a two or a three or whatever it might be. Or you could do it across your entire store. Maybe you only are going to give this particular promotion to the first three people who take advantage of it. If that's the case, put a three here and it will only be able to be used three times total across your entire store. But in this case, I'm gonna say no limit and we're gonna save. And here it is right here, complimentary shipping on 12 bottles or over. It is active, it is active right now. So let's go take a look at it on the front end. I'm going to log in. Okay, let's scroll down to our store. Let's go ahead and add 12 bottles here so we can see this discount apply. And voila, here we go. Shipping UPS ground, it was going to be $26, it is now zero. And we see here that the complimentary shipping 12 plus bottles is what applied. All right, let's proceed to checkout. And let's purchase this. All right, order is complete. Let's go take a look at it in Commerce 7. Head over into the store and there it is. And we see at a glance that it applied here. And then if you want some additional detail on that, you can go to the Promotions tab, scroll down, and you'll see that Brittany was logged in at the time of the purchase. And then this is the promotion that applied, and this is how much of a discount that Brittany received. So that is about it for shipping promotions. Let us know if you have any questions.